Hello everyone, welcome back to my newest devlog on Froggle Plus. And today I would like to introduce you to my enemy class. Back in Froggle Swing and Grapple, when I made the enemies, I didn't really do a whole lot with them. Looking back, I kind of feel like I really didn't do them justice. Uh, sometimes you get enemies that give you like cool gimmicks like the Steam guys, uh, I call them Steamio from Steampunk Skyline. Uh, they give you a little boost if you speak them. And uh, the spider enemies, which I call Spoot, uh, they throw silk balls at you, and the bees are, uh, I think, the coolest one because they pollinate flowers and stuff. But uh, other than that, most of the enemies, they're kind of... They mostly just behave the same way. Like, they have different movement patterns, but they can get caught by Froggle's tongue all the same. So in Froggle Plus, which is a completely different game, but uh, I want to give every enemy uh, a little bit of spicing things up. And, uh, I'm gonna go on a list to uh, introduce uh, every enemy I've added so far in order and explain a very unique thing about them. So returning from Frogger Swing and Grapple, we have the Ladybug enemies, which I call them the bug. <laughs> Uh, the bugs in this game, uh, they're kind of also very generic, but uh, this time I gave them the ability to roll on these uh, ball objects, which is kind of cool, I guess, but other than that, uh, they're the most standard, one of the standard enemies. They have different movement patterns depending on the colors of them. The next returning enemy is the ant. Now, back in Frogger Swing Grapple, the ant doesn't really have that much thing going on with them. They're kind of just, they're kind of just the bugs, but they have slightly different pattern. It's not that it's even slightly different, it's pretty much the same, other than there's a flying variant. So this game, I decided to spice things up a little. So what, what are ants known for? Uh, usually they're known for their incredible strength, you know. Like you get to see them carry like food like 20 times their weight. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna combine this enemy with a Buster Beetle from Mario 3. You know, the ones that chucks uh, ice cubes at you. I think I talked about this before, so I'm gonna move on. Following up, we have a uh, kind of returning enemies, but not really. I would like to introduce you to the fly and the dragonfly. Now these two enemies were interesting. Because if you were really early, like you were uh, one of my subscribers at a very early stage of Frogger Swing Grapple's development, you might recognize the Dragonfly. Because it used to be the first test enemy that I added to the game, but it never ended up in the final game. I think it's still in the codes and I never deleted them. Uh, I just never really used him. But since I needed flying enemies, I decided to uh, make the Dragonfly return. But this time, I give it a little sine wave pattern. Kind of like Medusa heads. The other thing is the fly. Now this one is also kind of like dragonfly except uh, I only did the surprise for it and never really added it to the game because at that point I was like there is so many bugs enemies that just kind of behave the same way so I didn't really need that many types of them so the dragonfly didn't even get an implementation but uh, today in Bravo Plus I decided to add him back and this time uh, I gave him the movement pattern of chasing the player. Now at this point it's also just enemies with different movement patterns but they all behave the same way. You can you can catch them, you can speed them back out at other enemies and they will die and etc etc. Now I'm gonna explain the cooler enemies. So like in Mario games, Mario is strong at the bottom and weak from the side and its top. Uh, for instance, Mario can hit Goomba from his bottom from his bottom side and pretty much end every enemy. So uh, the developers uh, design Biny which counters this strength. So I'm gonna also do that, but this time with Frago. So Frago strength is his tongue, which is very powerful, and that's why I decided to design an enemy that completely counters that. Let me introduce you to Grabble Jaw. Grabble Jaw is an enemy that opens his mouth all the time and he has a round, uh, I guess, tongue that really resembles the grappling 
flowers. So there's a thing that Bruggle can, Bruggle's tongue can catch onto. But you really don't want that to happen because as soon as you do that, the grapple jaw clo closes his jaw and bites you. A grapple jaw isn't the only enemy that counters this. Uh, the other enemy is the returning one, the bee. Now back in Frogger Swing and Grapple, the bee was used to pollinate flowers. It helps the plant grow. Other than that, I didn't really do much with it. The bee used to alert other bees if you attack them, but I thought it was too difficult, so I didn't keep that feature. But this time, I re-implemented it because I thought it would be interesting. Now you can catch the bees and throw them at other enemies you want. But the interesting thing about the bee is that if there's multiple of them, if you touch any of them, it will just anger the others. What you need to be careful about is to really just not touch any of them. If you do, you will get yourself in a really bad situation. After adding the bees, I thought it would be a cool idea to add this uh, honey block thing that Frogo can eat and swallow. But uh, if you eat it next to a bee, it will also anger the bee. So I think this is a really cool idea. And I feel like this is gonna make uh, a really interesting level. Next up, I want to introduce you to the underwater enemy, the first two of them. The first is called Susie. <laughs> yeah, I'm really terrible at naming things, but uh, hey, here's Susie. Uh, it's a, uh, their fish that swim around on the ground, uh, and the green variant chases you. Uh, the other enemy and the last enemy I want to introduce you today is the Nautilus. This one is, is an interesting one. It has a pattern of moving slowly vertically up and down. If you try to catch it, Frago will immediately speed it back up due to uh, its slightly larger size. So I think it's interesting. And that's all the cast of enemies that I currently have so far. Uh, I have plans for adding other ones like fighter enemies from the original game. But uh, this is it for now. I really have fun uh, brainstorming ideas to make each of them unique in their own ways and I look forward to like utilizing them in level design so uh, that's it for today's uh, devlog and I'll see you next time